everyone, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me today. If you are a new subscriber, please, please click the subscription button and the notification bell. And when you click the notification bell, there's three bells, there's three stages. Click all so that you get all notifications. So I've got some really exciting news today. <laughs> well, I've got two pieces of exciting news. First of all, um, I'm going to share this beautiful kit with you in a minute. Just very quickly, you will notice... Um, on my um, main header you've got little icons and there's a little cup of coffee and that is will take you to a site called buymeacoffee.com I'll also leave a, a link in the description box below on every video so it's always in the description box and there's always a little cup of coffee on my about page and that is if anybody would like to help uh, me as a creator with a small donation um, when you go on, I think it's set to a, uh, a suggested figure. You can do anything from £1 upwards. It just helps creators like myself keep on crafting. Um, you know, if we need um, any kind of equipment or tools or new um, inks and stamps and sprays to just carry on um, sharing tutorials with yourself. And what I'm going to do in return, because I don't expect anything for nothing, in return I'm going to start and um, do very very frequent giveaways I've already got a bundle here waiting to go and um, this will go in the next few weeks um, I'm just going to see if anybody responds to the buymeacoffee.com um, platform and um, if once there's enough to basically pay for postage then I'll send stuff out um, you know so that would in the UK would cost me I might do it in two sections there's about nine pound there in post no yeah, about not just shot a nine pound in postage or internationally, it's going to cost me closer to twenty five. Um, so that's what the that buymeacoffee dot com fund is for. It's so I, to pay for postage, so I can send things out. I don't need all of these things. I love love creating them, but I want them to get a home. So I'm going to start and do regular giveaways. Um, you know, and also to just to carry on creating. Um, I recently bought some lovely, 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 where are they? <laughs> and in fact, this is a good tip. These are the same thing as the Tim Holtz um, Distress Crayons. They're the same thing. And um, basically they react, they react to water. So these are water soluble oil pastels. They are the same, but the price for 24 is 8 99 They don't call me scrimpy for nothing. So it's things like this that I um, buy, you know, to try and do new tutorials and uh, show you new things to, to keep it interesting. Um, so that's the buymeacoffee.com. You can do a one-off. Or you can do like a monthly thing where you support the channel regularly. It's totally up to you. But I'm going to be having a lots of things to give away because I'm now in three design teams. So I'm in the Graphics Fairy design team, which is an awesome, oppor awesome opportunity. I think that is only fixed for six months. I'm not sure. So I'll be creating, um, I'm actually in the middle of creating one for them at the moment. I'm also on Artie Mayer's design team and I'll stay on there as long as she'll have me. It's not a limited time, I think it's as long as I want to and I'll probably do it forever and ever or as long as Andrea wants me. I love Andrea's stuff. And I've just been invited and asked... Um, I didn't even have to apply. I was approached, and I'm super thrilled, to be on another design team. Now, this lady actually designs some of the elements and kits for Graphics Fairer. And she saw what I did with the London Detective Journal, which she designed that kit. And she emailed me and asked if I would design for her as well. So, um, her, I've had to write it down because I'll forget so her Etsy is called A Whimsical Adventure, capital A, capital W for Whimsical and capital A for Adventure. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below, okay? And her name is Anya. Uh, I'm not even going to try, try and pronounce her surname, I've written it down. English people, we're disgusting out where we rubbish at um, pronouncing foreign um, names. So I'm so sorry, I don't want to ruin, um, ruin that name. Um, no, I can't, I can't think how to pronounce it. I'll just do it wrong and it'll sound ridiculous. <laughs> so I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'm going to show you a quick... This is just 
a few pages of this kit because her kits are enormous and if you go on over and have a look at her site via the link in my description box below you'll see that she's got quite a distinctive and very different kind of uh, style um, a lot of digital creators and I don't mean this in a, and I don't mean it in a mean way at all are quite similar um, hers are as soon as I looked I was like oh wow that's different do you know what I mean um, so she's got some very different elements on that and also stuff for scrapbooking it's not just digital journals and her kit is amazing because not only did she uh, give you the pages and the fussy cutting pages you know f uh, for the embellishments she also you're also able to individually download like you can on graphics fair individually download and um, let me see if I can find one I did print them out you can you know individual like these you can click them individually and probably resize them and print them out how you like okay so I'm just going to give you a quick flick of this one this is the one that I chose her style is very 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 eclectic and very distinctive and I just I wanted to make sure I picked a kit where I could do her work justice. Some of her kits are so beautiful, um, I, I, but they're outside my comfort zone. So hopefully, as I progress as a journal maker and my imagination grows, I'll try some of her other kits. But I picked this one as a bit of a safe bet, to be honest. But even so, the colours in here and the way it's put together is very, very beautiful. So this one's called Scent of a Rose. Um, it's absolutely lovely. I've only printed some of it out because I want to double-side some of the sheets. I haven't picked which exact ones I want yet because there is so much in the kit. I might not need it all. So here's one of the pages. It's absolutely beautiful, really beautiful. And it's layered up like as if she's added things and then... You know, and that lace there, like she's, um, obviously they're not just digital images, these are things that she's downloaded onto her PC and she's using um, in the in the making of the kit. So it's not all just, um, this beautiful, it's just beautiful. Um, as another one. And then there's um, beautiful, and I love this like um, teal colour. It's absolutely stunning and it goes beautiful with pink. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so, and these tickets are lovely. And then you've got these little buttons. Beautiful. And then here, we've got this little flower fairy here. She pretty. And um, we've got some little butterflies. A frame to cut out. I love fussy cutting me. But she's also put the lines round as well. So that if you've got, if you're a fancy Nancy, which I'm not, and you've got one of those fancy cutting machines, um, I've not printed this to A4, look it's cut it out there, it doesn't matter, I'll redo it. I have to size mine to A4 or sometimes it just cuts the edge off. Um, if you're a fancy Nancy and you've got like a Cricut or something like that or a scan and cut, um, then the lines are there so that it knows where to cut I think. I don't know, I don't have one but I'm assuming that's how it works. Okay, we've got some lovely labels and I like that it's bright. Although it's shabby chic, it's bright colours and I love it. And then you've got some muted ones here, look, um, to obviously use as back, you know, maybe you could, um, let me just get one. You'd have that and then you might double side it and have that on the back and then have that as a page. Well, that would make four pages, yeah? And then here we've got one that's uh, like note paper, which you can double side and another one here so I just thought I'd quickly show you those um, when I have created I don't know so I've got those items there to give away they're going to be getting given away in the next few weeks when I see how the buymeacoffee.com goes if I can get enough money together for the postage then they'll get sent out and then after that I'm doing three design team projects so I'm going to be giving away a, at least a, a journal um, I mean here for this bundle we've got a mini journal here that I made we've got a full, an autumn folio and then that is a, a, one of the Tim Holtz um, and that's a, a, a solid chipboard tag um, so that'll be one and that'll be another 
okay so do make sure you are subscribed because unless you're a subscriber you've, you won't um, get entered into anything and uh, those that are, uh, do help through the buymeacoffee.com will also get there's also like a blog over there so you'll you know I'll upload regularly to there and I um, as we progress see if I can upload some of my collage work that would be copyright free and give those as freebies things like that um so yeah um so there we go that's exciting just a little way of progressing trying to progress my channel trying to progress progress what i do and trying to um uh, be more interactive with you guys out there that do follow me i am ever so grateful for every single one and even just uh clicking the like and the subscribe button is being supportive and i am so grateful all right so don't forget to go and check out anya's shop a whimsical adventure it's in the description box i'll be back shortly with a tutorial for you so make sure you keep watching and i'll see you soon bye